Using the sentence structures and tips that I've taught you today, I'm sure you will have no trouble making comparisons in any situation. Hello everyone, my name is Catalin. Welcome back to another English lesson with me. Today we have a very useful video and this video will definitely be helpful for your conversational English. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to make comparisons in English. There are many different ways you can do this and many different sentence structures. And we are going to look at all of those today. Knowing how to make comparisons is very useful, especially when you're shopping. You might need to ask for a bigger or smaller size or look for something that is more or less expensive. After today's video, making comparisons in English will be very easy for you. So let's get into the lesson. One of the ways that we can make comparisons in English is to use adjectives. For many adjectives in English, we can turn them into comparative and superlative adjectives. A comparative adjective is used to compare two things. For example, he is taller than me. To make comparative adjectives, most often for short adjectives, we add the suffix er. For example, we can turn the word tall into taller, nice into nicer, and small into smaller. For longer adjectives that have two or more syllables, we most often add more in front of the adjective. Boring becomes more boring. Important is more important. And beautiful becomes more beautiful. This rule does have some exceptions though. For longer adjectives that end in ER, OW, L, E, and Y, we don't put more in front. Instead, we add ER. For example, shallow becomes shallower, and simple becomes simpler. But if you can't be bothered to remember the exceptions, I have a cheat trick for you. For adjectives that have two or more syllables, you can just add more. You can still say more shallow and more simple. They are still grammatically correct. We can use comparative adjectives in many ways to make comparisons in English. One sentence structure that we can use is something, verb, comparative adjective, than another thing. For example, Tim is taller than Jake. Apples are healthier than burgers. This exam seems more difficult than our last one. Another way that we can make comparisons in English is by using superlative adjectives. Unlike comparative adjectives that tell us about the difference between two things, superlative adjectives tell us about something's position within a group. If somebody is the nicest, they are the most nice person within a group. Making superlative adjectives is really easy. It's very similar to how we make comparative adjectives. For short one syllable adjectives, we add the suffix est onto the end. For example, tall becomes tallest and small becomes smallest. For longer adjectives that have two or more syllables, we normally add most or least before the adjective. Amazing becomes most amazing or least amazing. The only long adjectives that don't follow this rule are the ones that end in ER, OW, LE, and Y. These are the same ones that don't follow the rules for comparative adjectives as well. For these adjectives, you can add est onto the end. For example, shallow becomes shallowest and simple becomes simplest. However, again, if you can't be bothered to remember the exceptions, 
You can just add most and least in front of these adjectives. You can say most shallow and least shallow, or most simple or least simple, but I would say that saying shallowest and simplest do sound better. The sentence structure that we use superlative adjectives in is noun is the superlative adjective noun phrase. For example, he is the tallest person in the class. Facebook is the most popular social media app. Russia is the biggest country in the world. So you see, it's not too difficult to make comparisons using comparative and superlative adjectives. Some other ways that we can make comparisons in English are by using adjectives in certain sentence structures. We can compare two things to say that they are equal to each other by using the sentence structure something is as adjective as something. For example, he speaks English as well as she does. Or cats are as cute as dogs. We can also add the word not into the sentence structure to mean that two things are not equal in a certain way. We can say that something is not as adjective as something. My house is not as big as your house. If the two things that you are comparing are similar but not exactly the same, you can put the words about, almost, and nearly before the adjective. For example, Sarah is nearly as tall as Jake. My car is about as fast as yours. We can also make negative comparisons using adjectives by adding the word less before the adjective and using the sentence structure something is less adjective than something. For example, jalapenos are less spicy than green chilies or this dress is less expensive than this dress. A further way that we can make comparisons in English is by using adverbs. Adverbs are words that tell us how, when, or where something happens. If you want to compare the way that two things happen, you can put the word more or less in front of an adverb and use the sentence structure something verb more or less adverb than something. For example, China's population is increasing less quickly than India's or a tortoise moves more slowly than a hare. And those are many, many different ways that we can make comparisons in English. Using the sentence structures and tips that I've taught you today, I'm sure you will have no trouble making comparisons in any situation. But that is all that I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video and you learned how to make comparisons, please give this video a like and subscribe as it really helps me out. You can also check me out on social media and ask me any questions you have in the comments below. Have a lovely day everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.